Hey guys, it's Dr. Adam Nally coming to you live um, at lunchtime. I um, haven't been live for quite a while, but uh, there's so much of this stuff going on about uh, how keto diets are bad for you in all these different ways. And you're starting to see lots of publications uh, pop up. And so I thought I had to comment on this one. Um, a number of the uh, magazines, in fact, the U.S. News and World Report actually showed up uh, showing uh, uh, an one of their articles showing that low carb is bad for you, uh, causes more AFib, um, is quoting a study that's being presented through the American College of, College of Cardiology. And I, I had to comment on this. Um, the, the, their, their, the, this particular study that's there, because people are starting to ask me about it, um, it was actually a study that was uh, retrospective, meaning they asked patients what they ate over a period of 22 years through questionnaires on 66 different food types. Now, if you can remember what you had last week, I'm amazed. Um, but these are patients that are asked every four to six years what they're being what they're eating and they're told asked to, to remember it. Uh, it just nuts uh, that they can actually put a lot of stock behind this. But basically what they did was they looked at these people and the people ate an average of somewhere between 42 to 55% uh, uh, carbohydrate in their diet. Well, if it was less than 45% carbohydrate, uh, which is about 200 Carb. Uh, to be low carb, you have to literally be um, below 100 grams to truly be a low carb diet. But these people, folks were less than 200 grams of carbs um, in, in they were a small window. Uh, and there was a slight increase in their incidence of atrial fibrillation. Now, if you don't completely lower the carbohydrate, you're not in a ketogenic state and you give and we give you more fat, of course, there's going to be same changes to what happens here. So this is the big issue that arises that people are worried about is does a low carb diet cause increase in AFib? And the answer is it doesn't. I don't see it. I haven't seen it for 18 years in my practice uh, in that regard because we've been doing uh, highly ketogenic diets um, for at least the last uh, intensively for the last five to seven and low carb diets generally for the last uh, roughly 15 years in my practice. Um, and I see AFib all the time. My, a large percent of my, of my population are over 65. So we treat AFib all the time and we, we see that. Um, but there's no increased incidence that I've seen clinically in my practice. This was a, a, a correlation study, not a causation study. And so the problem is the media is hitting this really hard about does it actually cause it? And the answer is absolutely not, but that's what the media is saying. So I had to make a comment. I'm going to post this on my blog and I'll put it up on YouTube. Um, just it, this is the craziest thing. Um, the issue is if you look at current studies that are recorded in the literature, the incidence of atrial fibrillation is about 5.5% in the population. If you look at a population of about 30,000 people. Um, in this particular study, their incidence was literally 13.5% um, of 14,000 people. They had 1,900 have atrial fibrillation. Uh, and then they actually showed that there was this small window of 18% um, occurred, had higher incidence of atrial fibrillation if their carbohydrate was somewhere between 40 and, and 45% um, of their total intake of calories. Uh, that's not a low-carb diet. That's a diet that's high in fat with, with less uh, less complex sugars is really what that is. And so that's essentially uh, not uh, indicative of, of of a true low-carb diet. And so I, I'm surprised and horrified that they've had three or four people actually comment uh, about this and, and how, how they're spinning it, uh, whether this is the, the media itself or this is uh, being propagated by um, you know, the fact that low-carb diets are catching on uh, amazes me, but it's, it's kind of scary. So anyway, I had to pop in uh, to take, give my few minutes worth of, of information on that. I hope everyone's well. I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Um, this should be up on my blog, uh, darkmuscles.com. Check me out there, and I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'm going to sign off here. Let me see if there's any interesting questions that pop up here. Hey, guys. Hey, Tim. Um, and just looking to see if there's anybody having questions on there. It's good to see you guys. It's nice to be back. Uh, it's been crazy busy with all the Medicare requirements. I have more and more documentation that has to occur, and so my, my ability to live stream has been dramatically reduced. But I had to comment on this because it was just driving me insane. Uh, it's just, just nuts. Um, remember, too, that the American College of Cardiology, which is the group that, that, that funded or pu pushed this study forward, uh, I think, if I recall correctly, the president of that organization is a vegan. I, I need to verify that, but if I recall that, at least it was. Um, so that plays a big role there, too. Anyway, hope you guys have a great afternoon. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good Thursday. Long-term keto, um, I've been doing long-term keto for uh, 15 years, uh, and so, and I have patients that have been doing it for, for 10 years, uh, a couple patients have been doing it for 15 years, and they have no problems they fib. In fact, it, 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 I, would, it, I would imply that there's a decreased incidence because keto actually helps the heart squeeze more efficiently and more effectively and lets the conduction occur better and decreases inflammation. And we know that those are two roles that play 
those are two things that play a big factor. Uh, you decreased uh, conduction ability, uh, change in electrolyte function, and um, decreased hormone function, as well as inflammation that would drive abnormal conduction uh, behavior of the heart. So uh, keto actually helps it, doesn't hinder it. Um, I've got a bunch of patients that actually do keto, uh, and they actually improved when they are, were in AFib already. They, they went on keto, and that actually helped them. So I, I think it's, uh, this is the craziest thing I've seen. Um, it's almost as nuts as the keto crotch issues that are fake news uh, being purported around there. Anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, signing off. Again, this is Doc Muscles. Remember, keep the fat high, keep the carbs low, and pass the bacon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.